hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna make some jamaican curry goat yes may i tell you i love curry goat so much especially with some rice and peas or white rice so guys this is just over one kilo of goat meat and these are all of my ingredients but i'm keeping my ingredients very simple okay so here i have two stalk of scallion scotch bonnet pepper fresh thyme at least one tablespoon of fresh thyme four cloves of garlic one onion one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and that's my curry powder right there and i'm using better pack some ginger just a small amount of ginger and one teaspoon of pimento seed you can always use ground pimento okay so guys what i'm gonna do i'm gonna blend up all my fresh herbs so this is my blender jug right here so i'm just gonna firstly add my onion make sure that it is cut and i'm also gonna add my fresh thyme everything is already washed my scallion and my garlic my ginger my pimento seed and i'm also gonna add my scotch bonnet pepper that i cut and i'm gonna add just this amount okay i'm just gonna add at least one tablespoon of my olive oil just to loosen it up you can always add some vegetable oil okay i'm gonna also add some water and I'm adding just one tablespoon of water, okay? That's it. Make sure you don't add too much. Guys, I'm going to blend it all up, okay? And I'm going to use my hand blender. You can use the normal blender. Yeah. So this is what it look like after I finish blend it. Yes, I'm telling you guys, it is so strong. You can smell the scotch bonnet pepper, the garlic, the onion, the fresh thyme, everything. Mm -mm -mm. So good. It is not too runny. So this is how you want it, okay? So now guys, I'm going to season my goat meat. So this is how I... Tell the busher to cut it so make sure guys it is this size okay you don't want it to be too too big this is perfect you can always remove the excess fat from it okay so firstly I'm gonna add my blended herbs and I'm adding two tablespoons okay I didn't add all of it so I'm gonna add it first this right here guys is gonna make your curry goat be super super delicious i'm telling you i'm gonna take my hand you can always use a gloves and just mix it all in you want to make sure that everything is all combined after it is all mixed now i'm gonna add my all-purpose seasoning and my black pepper lastly i'm gonna add my curry powder now And as I said, guys, you can always use a gloves, okay? So you want to make sure that everything is all combined. And you can always leave it to marinate, guys, overnight or for one hour. 
but if you don't have the time you just cook it as it is because it's still gonna be delicious once you season it up properly it will still taste delicious look at that see that nicely nicely seasoned it look as if it's been marinated in the fridge for overnight the seasoning stick on the meat and that's exactly how you want how you want it look at that nicely nicely seasoning and I'm telling you guys it smells so good you know it's gonna be delicious guys now I have my pot on my stove and to my pot I add at least one tablespoon of my olive oil you can always use vegetable oil okay so now that my pot and my oil is now heated up now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of my curry powder okay because I'm gonna brown it And you're just gonna allow it to brown guys for at least 20 to 30 seconds okay but make sure you give an eye on it and I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of my blended herb I'm gonna add it to my pot like so so now that my curry is brown now guys I'm gonna add my goat meat okay and as I said, continue to mix it so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna give it a stir. And I'm just gonna leave it guys like this for at least five minutes okay i'm gonna cover my pot so this is what it's look like guys just over five minutes so now i'm just gonna mix it all in it smells so good So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some hot water to the same bowl that I use to season my curry goat. So I'm going to add at least four cup of water, okay, and I'm adding hot water. So this is what it looks like after I add my water. So now guys, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt for taste, that's it. Then I'm going to also add some more of my fresh thyme. And I'm just going to leave it guys for just over one hour, okay? If you need any more water, you can always add just a bit more if the water is reduced. It looks so good and it's not even finished. I'm gonna cover my pot and my stove is on a medium heat try not to turn up your stove too high okay because you want it to take its time and cook and if you want you can always use a pressure cooker for a quicker result but I like to cook it this way okay yes it's all up to you so guys my curry goat been cooking just over one hour and that's what it looks like look at that oh my goodness this is absolutely delicious I'm loving the color guys 
it is not yet finished because I want it to be nice and tender so as you can see the fork don't go all the way in so I'm just gonna leave it guys for at least 20 minutes okay yes I haven't had no water to it I'm gonna add some more I'm gonna add one more cup because I want it to be nice and tender guys so I'm just gonna leave it as I said for 20 minutes okay this is so good super super delicious Now cover my pot. So guys, my curry goat been cooking just over 20 minutes. And this is what it look like. Super, super delicious. It is nice and tender now guys. Let I show you. As you can see, my fart go right through. So guys, I just want to show you how nice and tender it is. You see that? This is how you want it. You see how it pull apart? So it is nicely, nicely tender. But it's still not yet finished i'm gonna add some carrot and some potato okay so stay tuned then i'm gonna add some more of my black pepper at least half teaspoon and just a pinch of salt and i'm gonna add a half of carrot that i cut And my potato okay and this is how I cut it and you can always taste your liking if you need any more salt any more all-purpose seasoning you can always add okay I'm gonna add some more of my fresh thyme and I'm gonna leave it for at least 10 minutes and it is ready good to go So guys, my curry goat is all finished and this is what it looks like. Super, super delicious. Oh my gosh. The gravy is nice and thick it up and this is exactly how you want it. That's the potato right there. And you don't want the potato to be too soft, okay? This is perfect. So guys, I'm adding some bell peppers, red and gold, just a little bit, okay? Just for color, okay? And some of my scallion. It is totally optional, but just for a little color. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn my stove off. 
so no guys i'm just adding my curry goat to my plate right there i'm telling you it looking super super delicious look at the color the color is just perfect guys if you try this recipe comment below and tell me what it's like okay don't forget to share please share it to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media i will really really appreciate it okay i thank you all so much for supporting my channel and please guys don't forget to give me a big thumbs up okay you can serve it with some rice and peas some plain rice some dumpling whatever you prefer okay i thank you all so much for watching my video until next time bye don't forget to keep laughing keep smiling no matter what because god is always on your side bye guys much love